the priest who was going for the walk. He saw a boy carrying little tiny two birds, two little tiny birds, and he is hitting them. The priest asked him, Son, why are you hitting them? Yes, these two birds are unlucky birds. They have come into my hands and I want to sell and make money out of them. Nobody is buying. So I want them to cry that people may hear the sound of the bird and buy it. The priest said, Okay, you give them back to me. He said, It will cost you more. It will cost me more. If I don't buy it, what will you do? If nobody buys this, I will take these two birds and first I will cut their feet, cut their legs. The birds will be crying in agony and then I will cut all their wings and then I throw them to my cats and then I will roast them in the fire while they are still having life and then only I will cut the head I will see them throwing into the fire alive and they will be crying jumping the agony in agony yes the priest's heart was broken Tears came from him. He said, please don't do that. Whatever you want, I will give it to you. Do you want these two bats? Give the gold ring you have. No son, I don't have gold ring. I have only watch. Give that watch. He gave him the watch. You have a nice shoe, walking shoe. Give that to me. The priest gave back. But it is not sufficient for these two birds. With a lot of struggle, I caught these two birds. You want them? Give you a banyan. Son, I am a priest. I came for a walk. Without banyan, if I go, what will happen? People will laugh at me. If you want the birds, give that banyan to me. The priest took away that banyan and gave it to him. The boy took away all that and gave the two little birds. As the priest was returning back, people who were looking around, they made fun of this priest. But he took away everything. He felt sad. But when he looked at those two little birds, he forgot all the humiliation he had. He came to his room. He put oil to the feet of those wounded birds. And he untied them. And kept them on his, both of his palms. And the birds gently, gently, they flew away, going up and up and up and the priest with great joy celebrating the freedom those two little birds had amidst humiliation and pain his joy that I could free these birds was so stronger than the humiliation they underwent that's what Jesus did for you and me. He threw away the heavenly glory. He became a man who can be killed by man. He became a slave type. 
he washed the feet of his disciples. He went many days hungry. He was thrown into the tempest. He has to live among the disciples who don't understand him. Rather some betrayed him. Some denied him. Most of them ran away from him. In his most important need, no one stood by him. He underwent agony. That whom he trusted, they all left him. His beard was pulled out. He was slapped, spat over. He was scourged. He was nailed, naked. He loved us so much. He underwent all this humiliation that you and I may return back to him. If we return back to him, we will be renewed by his blood. We will be brought back by his blood. By the suffering he underwent, we may be restored through his wounds. All our wounds may be healed. Through the crown of thorns, all the curses may be removed. Through his blood, all our sins may be washed away. And once again, we will get back the joy and freedom in the Lord. For the Lord Jesus, what the suffering he underwent, what the humiliation he underwent is not the matter. To take you and me to the ground of freedom. The joy of him is seeing us being forgiven. Once again we are restored to health. Once again we are restored to heaven. Once again we are restored to salvation. Once again we are restored to good health. And to his presence. Ami sing grace. How sweet that sounds. That saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind. Yeah.